Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at Fubo, formerly known as Fubo TV. This is a live TV streaming service that offers hundreds of channels of live content, a huge collection on demand, a thousand hours of DVR, and a whole lot more to give you a cable-like experience, but streaming without the long-term contract of cable. We'll be breaking down everything you need to know about this and more in this video. First, a few disclaimers. If you'd rather read all this, I'll have a link in the show notes and in the first pinned comment to a full breakdown we did over there, which has a full channel list on it and a bunch of um, details about add-ons and more that come with it and pricing updated as it we can keep it updated. Also, before we get into the full review, can you do me a big favor? Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube uh, know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families here, and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still enjoy what you uh, wanna watch. All right, so let's start off. Fubo TV starts at $74.99, 400 plus channels, and it has several different packages that goes up to well over 200 channels in there, allowing you to pick which ones you want. One of the big selling points of Fubo is it's one of the few services that does two things. First of all, 4K is included with it. Not all content's in 4K, the programming and channel needs to offer 4K, but you don't have to pay extra for 4K. It also offers in the base packages now a thousand hours of DVR with it, which is a pretty nice, and um, up to 10 streams in home for this too, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about a bunch of people in your home wanna watch different shows. They can all do that with up to 10 different devices at once in your home network. Let's kind of take a quick look at the actual app itself. As you see here, it's the home screen's pretty basic, much like many others. Um, what considers you may wanna watch, apparently news and sports is what things I wanna watch. Bunch of different content and recommends here, but you're probably like, Luke, I want a traditional cable guide. Hey, don't worry, Ray, Ray up here at the top, you have guide, and in this guide, you can come right on down here and go through a um, list here. It starts off with locals at the top, and you see right here, Fox is in 4K, so I have that listed there. Currently not airing anything at this time, but tons of the locals, including my regional sports network, something many live TV services do not offer, Fubo does. We'll talk about that in a minute, one thing you need to be aware of with that. But just tons of content here. Of course, you can break it up into different categories here. You can go into news channels and see all the different news channels only. I can go in lifestyles, home cooking. Let's go down to sports. Here we go, 73 different sports channels with this. Of course, it includes locals and that because locals offer a lot of it, but you can see here, if I just want sports, it has all mine right here, which is really nice. I can also favorite this and have that all broken up with that too. And at this time, there's three uh, ones available right now, Fox, FS1, and NBC offering 4K. Now there's also a DVR here. And in here is where I can access my, uh, under the My TV, I can get my recorded schedule, continue watching if I left off at something, allowing me to pick up exactly where I left off with my content with that. And you see, I have z currently zero hours of 1,000 available here, so it lets you know how much. Kind of a nice thing about this versus YouTube TV, for example, YouTube TV gives you unlimited storage, but after nine months, it auto deletes those recordings. And sometimes maybe there is with that huge upset football game your team won, you wanna save for a long time. With this, you get to decide if you want that to delete or not, which is a really cool feature for it. Um, oh, don't wanna cancel here. You can also, um, at the top here, sort by different categories, like sports, shows, and movies. Let's jump into sports here and sh uh, sort by this. And right here, you can kind of see upcoming sporting events. I'm recording this in the morning on a Friday, so not a lot. But you can also see what's happening right now. The uh, PGA is active out there um, with this. I think that's the PGA. There's also sports channels, the talk shows and more. I can see upcoming 4K games. And it's a really nice little feature here. And also I can see MLB games, soccer, football, upcoming uh, XFL and USFL, NHL and more with this. Really nice feature here that they make it very easy for you to discover content. It's broken up. Like I said, if you're a sports fan, you're great. If you want just your locals, you're, you can do that. You can create custom profiles. When you first log in, it gives you the option for different people in your home to have different profiles, allowing you to be able to access that content however you want it. Um, let me jump back here to the home screen. Let's talk about a few catches that you need to be aware of with this service. Starting off with the fact that it does have in many areas that offer RSNs, those regional sports networks, a regional sports network fee that will be tacked in on top of your bill. Unfortunate, that is the case. Um, it also is missing one set of channels here, and that's Turner channels. On the flip side, it has a lot of other great channels. 
It's a really great lineup, but those are the two catches that you need to be aware of if you're deciding this is right for you. If those aren't a big issue for you, hey, this is not a bad way to go with it. It offers a ton of content, a very nice DVR, 4K, like I said, which more services don't offer, regional sports networks for those fans who really want that NHL, NBA, and um, MLB content, which most live TV core cutting services don't offer. And with all that, you get it at $74.99, which is a good price, especially when you consider that YouTube charges 10 bucks for 4K, driving its price up over $80 if you want um, 4K with YouTube TV on that. So overall, there's no right or wrong answer here if, if you're trying to decide if this service is right for you. Um, core cutting is great. Unlike cable TV that says, hey, we have three or four packages and you have to pick and that's all you can pick from, we don't care. Core cutting says, hey, we have a ton of services for you to pick from and you to decide if this is right for you. For some people, this may be missing something they want. For other people, this may be everything they want, including their regional um, sports network like Bally Sports, et cetera, that allows them to watch their local MLB, NHL, and NBA team, something some services don't offer. So if that's right for you, if that's what you want, I don't think you're gonna go wrong here. Now I previewed this on a Roku. There's one cool feature that Apple TV has that Roku does not. Hopefully they add it, YouTube TV brought it to Roku, but split screen where you can watch four feeds, four channels at once from uh, Fubo TV on the Apple TV 4K um, and more Apple TV devices, which is really nice. It allow you to watch multiple games at once and be able to enjoy it all at the same time. Overall, I've had Fubo TV on and off since it first launched. Uh, they've matured and grown, excuse me, Fubo, no longer Fubo TV. They've matured and grown into a really nice service with dependable quality, dependable streaming, and um, overall, I'm happy with it. So if you are happy with it, if you wanna learn more about this and maybe sign up for it, check out current pricing and other details about it, maybe see the full channel list, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to it on uh, the first pinned comment and over in the show notes down below so you can find our full breakdown of everything you need to know about Fubo at corecarsnews.com. If we helped you at all, we really appreciate if you could consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families. So with that said, hey, I hope you have a fantastic day. If we didn't happen to answer any questions you have, either here or on the Core Cars News website, leave us a comment. Let us know. We'll do our best to answer them down there or head over to corecarsnews.com, hit the contact us. Uh, we try to answer questions weekdays 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern over there at corecarsnews.com. You can also check out the show notes. We have a Facebook group that's fully dedicated to answering core cutting related questions where there's over 80,000 core cutters that you can ask a question and get help from called Core Cutting Tech Support. I'll put a link to that Facebook group down below in the show notes um, so you can subscribe or uh, join that and ask any core cutting questions you may have. Well, until then, take care. Have a fantastic day. We'll be back again with another video real soon.